hopefully I'm well lit enough. Um, I'm in Chicago right now, in the car. I know there's been a lot of people rooting for me with this whole adventure in Chicago. Um, basically, my grandfather is uh, has dementia and Alzheimer's, and uh, my mother has been working hard to try to support my grandparents and herself, and try to find home care for him, but it's so expensive. She's been applying to personal loans and has been getting denied. Um, when coming to Chicago, I didn't think... Uh, it's not like I didn't want to help them, but I kind of just ignored it and was thinking I would be successful and be able to help them financially. But it has been brought to my attention and I rethought things that it would be more helpful to help them financially there and be there for them because they just want to see me too. They're getting old and even if I was just there working I would be able to give my money to them and help them out and they enjoy seeing me and that would just make them happy so as an adult and trying to be more of a man I think the better decision would be to come back to Chicago some other time and go home and work and help out my family who's helped me out so much um, I, I intended to help them out but these first few months in Chicago, I, I would only have enough for rent and food, barely. And I, I just can't count on that. And I don't know, how, it would kill them to not... My grandparents don't know that I'm, I'm here. So, uh, yeah, it would kill them. So I think... I'm 55% sure I should go home and 45% sure I should stay here. So it's a little, but I think it's the right decision and I can always come back here, but I would regret a little more not going back home. And it'll be, it'll be good to just get my foot in the door and, uh, and just work and get some money and get credit too. So that's something I didn't have here, and it's made things difficult. I don't know what I'm going to be doing with YouTube. I also need to buy a camera lens, because that broke. And I can still better myself and develop apps at home, too. Um, I still want to do YouTube, but I don't. I feel like my life is boring at home here, uh, Chicago would be a catalyst for me to not have a boring life, so I'm going to go drive home. I have to tell my boss and my landlord, I haven't signed the lease yet, so it's kind of like everything falls into place, but it's uncanny. I'm supposed to sign the lease tomorrow and check in tomorrow. So, I don't know when we're going to meet again. But, I wish you all the best. I don't know what else to say. Be strong. Stick to your gut. Which, when you make a decision, think about which one you would regret more. 
be real with people, be loving to people, know that someone always has it harder out there, and um, just help people out too. One of the biggest things I've learned here in Chicago, especially from Chipotle and from my boss, is just um, be real with people and resolve conflicts. And if you see something, don't just hold it to yourself and let it brush over. There's, I know, too many adults who do that, and it just it it doesn't really help. So if you see something and there's something on your mind say it and share that perspective with that individual in a respectful way even if it's going to hurt you or even if it's going to hurt them or even if it goes against the grain it's just better to resolve things and uh, ironically there's some things that still need to be solved for my family so it all comes together, I guess. And hopefully I'll come back, or hopefully I'll find another way. I do want to come back. And I'll come back with more money. So it won't be as hard, even though that was part of the storyline. I'll come back with credit. And with more camera gear, maybe, so I can film some more. See you later, alligator. In a while, crocodile. All right, so I'm back home. I've been home for about a week, and I've just been. It's kind. Of, it's kind of been rough. The first week I got here, I was just just playing video games, just kind of vegetating, um, and then I set up a system to build more self-discipline um, by taking cold showers, running every day. And then uh, I fell back and I slipped up, um, but then I got back into it and that's where I am right now. But um, actually, before we do anything else, I've got something. No. much better. Alright, uh, first thing, yes, I cut myself shaving. Okay, got over that. Second thing, um, I'm actually going on vacation to California for the first time for my cousin's graduation. That is in two days. Today is the 20th of, what month are we in? May, I think. Yeah, 20th of May. So I'm taking you along. That's why I had to get this lens so quickly. And we're gonna make it pretty awesome. Because we're going to California. I've never been there. We're going to make it pretty awesome. So, until then, stay in touch. I'll see you later. Oh, and, um, so, I was thinking for a while, what should I do with this channel? Because I'll be here. And I'm actually going to just, so, so this room right here, this has been the same for the past five or six or seven since we moved in. The only thing different is the room color and then my mother painted that without asking me what color I wanted. So I am going to actually renovate this room and make it into my filming studio, my workshop, my editing studio, my sleeping quarters, just yeah, a workshop and a place for me to create and a place that everything is somewhere and something that looks cool too. So I'm gonna bring you along with that and that'll take a long time, because I'm going to be working all summer too, and I'm going to be building up credit. So, there should be plenty of footage to be able to be created. So, if you want to see me renovating my room in a cool fashion, and going out and just showing you cool things, that's what I'll be doing. Um, and a little, little sneak peek, 
The next video coming up is me putting up my hammock in the room. It's cause it's conserve space. Like if you look at this room, there's not that much room in the room. The bed takes up the majority of it. And then I turn around and there's a desk face and a drawer. So we're gonna We're gonna transform it to something greater. Mm -hmm.